The Tuesday continues, and i got to tell you, it's not going to be a horrible day. We're going to have a few errant little flurries out there, but that's going to be about it. Take a look at the four things you need to know as we uh, get into this afternoon. A few flurries again, mountain snow into Idaho. That'll continue clearing overnight for the Spokane area, looking pretty good. And then sunny and warmer into the weekend. It's going to be amazing. Um, we look at the 48-hour forecast, and again, it's got, again, those showers firing up into eastern Washington, north Idaho and into the northeastern mountains as well. Now, after Thursday, you know, after Wednesday night into Thursday morning, things really do get pretty stable for us, and it's going to be great. Today, variable clouds. We're going to have 43 at noon. Our high today is going to be 48 degrees. That's about average for this time of year. And, in fact, all around our region, we're going to be uh, at or above average. Uh, we're going to have temperatures 54 into Moses Lake, 46 into Pullman, 54 into Lewiston. Look for the Tri-Cities to be in the mid-50s as well. We take a gander at what we can expect on that planning forecast. We can plan on sunshine for the end of the week. <clears throat> really looking pretty good. 48 on Thursday, Friday, 52. Look for mid-50s um, on Saturday. And again, springing forward one hour on your clocks because it's that time of year. The daylight saving time begins Sunday at 2 a.m. Monday, cooler, partly cloudy and 44 degrees. I'm Mark Peterson. I hope you have a great day. <coughs> Mountain travel. Yeah, you could see a little bit of snow into the higher elevations. But, um, boy, we're breaking out of the winter weather and spring is right around the corner. Have a great day. First alert weather app. Bring it down. It's great year around for winds, for, you know, the temperatures and the sunset sunrise has all the information you need. Take care.